Welcome to your audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn the data of macroeconomic dear scholars once a famous detective Sherlock Holmes said that it is a capital mistake to theorize before one has data insensibly one begins to twist facts to suit theories instead of theories to fit facts scientists economists and detectives have much in common they all want to figure out what's going on the world around them to do this they rely on theories and observation they build theories in an attempt to make sense of what they are uh, uh, seeing the happenings they then turn to more systematic observation to evaluate theories and their validities only when theories and evidence come into line do they feel they understand the situation uh, moreover the causal observation is one source of information about wh what's happening in the economy when you go shopping you see fast price are rising when you look for a job you learn whether firms are hiring or not because we are all participants in the economy we get some sense of economic condition as we go about our lives so here we have the importance of that uh, macroeconomic data that today economic data often a systematic and objective source of information and almost every day the newspaper has a story about some newly released statistic most of these statistics are produced by the government, various government agencies, uh, survey household and forms to learn about their economic activity, how much they are learning, what they are buying, what price they are charging and whether they have a good job or are they are looking for, uh, for work or job and so on. From these surveys, various statistics are computed that summarize the state of the economy. Economists use these statistics to study the economy. Policymakers use them to monitor developments and formulate policies. So like that, a century ago, economists uh, monitor the economy and they have a little uh, uh, causal observation and uh, uh, these little causal observation make the information more fragment and economic policies are all uh, are uh, become a most difficult task for the economists so one person uh, in uh, reports uh, would suggest the economic was moving on one direction while a different person or another person report would suggest that it was moving in in, uh, uh, in the other way around. Uh, economists needed some way to combine many individual experiences into a, a coherent uh, uh, environment. There was an obvious solution as as the old equip goes the uh, and uh, uh, we have to uh, make the similarity about all the uh, uh, existing as well as the coming reports about the economy. The three statistics are very common for the macro economist and policy maker that is gross domestic product and the consumer price index and uh, uh, level of unemployment in the economy. While discussing about the importance of data, economic data is important as it reveals the true picture of and economy condition. It allows us uh, once to understand how an economy stands in respect to other economies and whether it has been governed properly or not. Economic data can help one determine whether financial plans and programs which have been adopted by a government have been fruitful or not. There are different categories of macroeconomic data. Uh, there are several important categories of macroeconomic data like real sector, financial sector, fiscal sector and external sector. Why talking about uh, the importance of real sector when we are uh, uh, getting the data of national account, production index, gross domestic product and consumer 
consumer index, we are discussing the real sector data. While fiscal sector economic data includes categories such as uh, general government operations, central government debt and central government operations. While discussing about the financial sector uh, data category of note are uh, we can say that analytical accounts of banking sector, the details of uh, premium stock exchange, analytical account of apex uh, financial body, details of national stock exchange and rates of interest. While talking about the external sector, uh, sector data, main categories are balance of payment, uh, external debt, international reserve exchange rate and international investment position while discussing there are some other uh, more important uh, categories of economic data like gross national expenditure and uh, gross national income these are some of the uh, main importance of the macroeconomic data and categories of the macroeconomic data so see you with another video ciao